Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. Blackmagic RAW is a new RAW codec that has all the benefits of RAW that we've been discussing, but is also much less taxing on your workstation. Because of its efficiency, Blackmagic RAW can be used throughout the production and post-production pipeline with no need for optimizing or transcoding to codecs with lower color subsampling and bit depths. It can be encoded at either a constant bit rate with four compression options for predictable file sizes, or a constant quality, which records without a data limit to ensure best quality when recording complex scenes. This is one of the sample files from Blackmagic's website. If I open it, we can see it actually contains two files, the Blackmagic RAW clip itself with the .b raw extension, and a sidecar file that has metadata. One of the advantages of this format is that the sidecar file can be updated with new metadata without losing the original metadata information captured in the BRAW file. We only need to select the BRAW file. The sidecar file will automatically be imported. Notice if I enable looping and play this clip, even though this is a raw clip at 60 frames per second, I can play it back in almost real time. Let's go to Project Settings, and in Color Management, I'll make sure Color Management is disabled so we have full access to all the different controls at the clip level. Under Camera Raw, under the Raw Profile, we now have the new Blackmagic Raw Profile. Note that you'll need to be on Resolve 15.1 or later to be able to decode Blackmagic Raw. We're decoding at full resolution. I'll choose Camera Metadata or the encoding that was set in the camera, and click Save. Now, in the Camera Raw palette, rather than decoding using that project setting, we could select on a clip-by-clip -clip basis how to decode. So rather than Camera Metadata, we could select Blackmagic Raw Default here, rather than going back into Project Settings, which would change it for all the clips in the project. Notice here that the Blackmagic Default setting looks a lot more like a log encoding with a compressed dynamic range and low saturation. If I go to the camera metadata, we get the expanded dynamic range and the increased saturation that you'd normally associate with Rec. 709 encoding. This is because the camera was set to a video mode when shooting. The default setting, on the other hand, shows us the raw sensor data so that we can grade in log. So this can be a great starting point for a Rec. 709 grade. Just as we saw with other raw files, we have the option to decode based on the clip itself. The color space is Blackmagic Design. And then we have new gamma options. Blackmagic Design Film will essentially place the clip into a log encoding with a compressed dynamic range and lower saturation. We can tweak that encoding by adjusting the color temperature, tint, and exposure. And we have some new gamma controls. Notice if I click on one of the DNG files, these controls are the same as the controls available in the different color correction palettes. But these controls are specific to adjusting the gamma. So for instance, you could start with a log encoding, but use a video black level if your target distribution is video. If we use the Blackmagic Design video gamma, we'll get our Rec. 709 encoding. Our highlights seem to be clipped, but they are recoverable, for instance, using the custom curve. I'll reset that. Notice that when we've selected Blackmagic Design Video, that our gamma controls are not accessible. However, if we choose Blackmagic Design Extended Video, these controls are accessible and our highlights are recovered. As with any video mode or Rec. 709 encoding, the idea is that you can get by with minimal or even no grading with properly exposed footage. In all cases, you have access to adjusting ISO, as well as color temperature, tint, and exposure. The Blackmagic RAW codec is an exciting new development in RAW workflow. If you want to go deeper into Resolve 15's grading tools, I just released a six hour advanced color grading tutorial that includes all the media for following along. You'll find the link below and a discount code that will give you 30% off.